Hey everyone, today I want to show you a new product coming out, maybe in the next month or so. Um, this is something I've thought about before, but it, I, I, the impetus to go ahead and put it out is having questions from a lot of people interested in the Hydros Plus Lift Plus solution where you have larger boom cylinders. Um, I'm showing this on the 1025R, but it's going to be applicable for uh, the 2 and 3 series as well. Um, I haven't actually checked the 3 series, we'll figure out where we mount that one, but on the 2R and uh, the large frame 2R in this tractor we'll, we're going to utilize uh, the existing bolt location. And somebody, some of you all may have things like the MUDS Customs handles or something else already there, so keep that in mind if you're thinking about ordering this. Uh, nothing special about putting this together. You know, we're, I'm just putting it together like with all my products. It's thing. It's something that I'm interested in and I want. So I'm trying to make it as factory looking as possible, and, and make it very easy for somebody to pick up and install. So uh, I'm still working on the final throws of the bracket, but but this is a prototype and it's good enough for me to show you kind of how this works. Now, you can go through the math. Uh, these are the 1.75 uh, lift cylinders. You can go through the math and, and, and actually try to start figuring some of this out. But the simplest way is to have a known capacity in the front. So this is 12 70 pound um, bags of sand. So that's 840 pounds. They are wet, so maybe it's 850. So between 850, we'll say 850 and 900. That's probably what it is. Um, and I've already done this and I won't show it simply because it requires me to take all those bags out, but the loader by itself is 200 PSI. So when I lift it up to my, I'll call it my weight height, um, just, it doesn't matter what your weight height is, it's just so you, you use that same height every time, that's all that matters. So 200 PSI empty, let's start it up. So, almost 1,100 PSI, between 1,000 and 1,100 PSI, we've got 850 pounds, take 200 off of that, you're at 900, between 850 and 900 PSI. So, for this particular application, which is very nice, it's 1 PSI per uh, pound. So, if that's true, then if I take some of this weight out, it should adjust accordingly. Actually, I didn't have to lower it, I could have just taken it out, but let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I took four bags out, so eight bags at 70 pounds is roughly 560 pounds. Close it up. PSI 7 600 so 500 you know I'd say 560 pounds if it's wet sand maybe it's 575 maybe it's 600 maybe it's 550 because some of the sand fell out I don't know that exactly but you can kind of see here you get 800 PSI take 200 PSI off you're at 600 if we're within 50 pounds I think that's really good the other thing is I said that the loader by itself is 200 pound or 200 psi you know one thing that's interesting about this particular scale is that from from 0 to 500 only has four marks so it doesn't have you know and again you could get a little more granular if you wanted to you could get a you could get an electronic gauge but you know if we're trying to get within 50 pounds to me that's that doesn't matter this is analog, it doesn't require any electronics, you can stay out in the weather, so I'm good with this approach. But um, let me show you one more thing before I go. I want to put the sand back in and we'll go up to full height and I'll show you kind of how uh, the difference in pressure that you get 
uh, at the different height. So I'll be right back. All right, I went ahead and put my four bags in, busted one of them, didn't really lose any sand, but it's the last time it's going in and out of that bucket for sure. So we'll start it up. See with all the sand in there, we're around 1,000 to 1,100. If we bring it up, you're going to see All the way against the special leaf valve, so we back it off here. We'll come back up just a bit. So that's basically at the very top, and you can see we're at 1900 psi. So that means that with these particular cylinders, you could lift this 850 pound dish up to full height. You can't do that with the one and a half. Uh, inch bore cylinders but with these you can and even though I've got this I left this set at 3,000 psi from the last pressure uh, or lift test that I did um, but uh, you saw it hit 3,000 psi whenever it went to relief but it still would have lifted this so at 19 18 1900 psi uh, is what it would take for these cylinders to lift this all the way to the top and uh, that kind of correlates with what we see in the, the lift test, meaning you can lift eight, nine hundred, a thousand pounds off the ground, but to full height, you can, with stock, you can only lift about 500 pounds. Uh, with these, you can lift 800 pounds, which is not more weight than the tractor can lift, but it's more weight than you can lift to full height. Let me put this down. So that's it. Doesn't yet have a name. Don't have all the specifics worked out. Working on the bracket. Uh, this will be available for the tractors I support, which are 1, 2, and 3 E series. Uh, I'll have a look at the R series, and maybe it's something that, that will work out well there. Um, you know, the only nuance really is uh, it's going to connect to, most likely it's going to connect here on all the tractors. I got to go check out my. My 3 Series is not here, so I can't remember if it has those holes there. Um, but the the bracket is going to be somewhat universal to loader mounts that have that hole. Uh, it, will, it will be set up for John Deere uh, quick connects. Now, you'll see here I have a quick connect on it. I'm not, that's not going to be in the final product simply because that's just going to add cost. And it's not really necessary, just uh, how I ended up putting it together because I'm taking it on and off a lot, but the, the final um, the final product is really just going to be a gauge, a bracket, a hose, and and a T that you can put on. So, unfortunately, the T that that John Deere that works with the John Deere connections is uh, extraordinarily expensive. I don't understand why, and I think it's just with hydraulic products when you find something that's expensive it's because hardly anybody uses them and there's just not that many of them made you get something that is ubiquitous and they're surprisingly cheap in some cases so um that said uh let me know in the comments if it's something you're interested in if you would buy uh it's not going to be a good diagnostic tool um there, you'll, you'll be able to get a, a pressure gauge cheaper go to ken's bolt on hooks he has them cheaper um and, and so, but if it's something that you want to try to understand how much weight you're lifting, then, then this could be a good fit for you. So, like I said, questions, comments, leave them below, and thanks for watching.